the latest tower defense game on Steam is called Alarameth Tower Defense. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Alarameth. Alarameth, maybe? I don't know. Um, so, it's from what I can tell, it's made by a single guy, which, I don't know. I don't like to make a big deal. Like, I, I, the size of the development team isn't really an excuse for a bad game. But I, I find it very impressive that uh, a single person can make a game like this. Uh, so it's a tower defense game, and it, it's pretty simple. Um, it's described on the store page as a, a dynamic, unique, challenging, a fully voiced game. It's available for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. And it's normally priced at uh, $7.80 $7 Canadian, but it's currently 20% off to $6.23 Canadian. So it's pretty cheap, especially for this first week. Uh, it, the, that offer ends on the 30th of June. Let's give it a try. Um, I will say, um, in terms of like options and stuff, the game is pretty solid, technically. It has an option which I like a lot, which is to uh, dynamically change the graphic settings. I think that's a great feature. I haven't tried it, so I don't know how well it works, but I, re I really like the fact that that's there. So, I, um, we talk about graphics. Um, it's nothing really stand out. I don't mind it. I'm sure a lot of people will look at this and like barf or something, but I, I think it's fine. Uh, it really screams stock Unity to me. Like you can see how like there was like a grid and there's a like, tree one here, tree two here, tree three, there's a tree two. Uh, that's actually tree four. But yeah, you can you can see how it's. Like, yeah, you, like, you can look at this and see how it was programmed, which, I, I don't know. Uh, also, I, I will note that it, it they tell you in the voice acting, there are no subtitles, which I think is a pretty, pretty big problem, but there are no subtitles, but in the tutorial, uh, it tells you that these guys are actually civilians, which you're killing. Oops, I guess the king got civilians. What? Yeah, yeah, that... That was a little, little off-putting humor for me, but whatever. I mean, I, I don't really care. Let's put this one here. Just save this spot for a, a higher level tower, like a cannon. So, as you can see here, it's pretty basic tower defense. The guys walk along a path, and you put uh, towers on the end, ends of that path to kill them as they come by. And they come by in waves and in ever-increasing numbers. But what you see over here is that eventually... The enemy's path, as you see here, goes through where you can put your towers. So eventually, if I put my tower here, you'll see the enemies have to go around it. So if I put that tower there, come on, towers, kill someone. There we go. Eventually, I can make long lines of towers, and I can just make them back and forth. So eventually, um, the it'll take the enemies so long to get to the end. I've it gained a huge advantage so you have to I, this is the the fourth time I think I've played this level uh, just through recordings and stuff that have not come into fruition so so yeah um, it's uh, it's not too bad I I have to say um, this mechanic, I mean, is not too bad. I, I like it a lot. It, 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 it puts in a decent amount of, like, thought to where you put them, other than the obvious, oh, there's a corner here, I'd better put my tower on the corner so it, so it's fully efficient, blah, blah, blah. So, I think that actually adds quite a bit to it, and, uh, when, and obviously, you know, tower defense is a lot of waiting, but then there are a couple. There are two mechanics that are in place to uh, kind of make that a bit better. Firstly, you can fast forward the game, make it go a bit faster, which is definitely very nice. I like that very much. Oh, and uh, you can't you can't place an example, uh, place a tower, for example, here or here. Uh, it they're redded out, redded it, redded out. Yeah, they're, they're red. You can't put a tower there, just because uh, that would uh, completely block the enemy's path. And if I put a tower, like, here, for example, the enemies would just, like, walk straight by it. They they do pathfind to the end. They don't just 
walk around your towers however you want. You, you can't skimp. You gotta make full full walls or they just walk through the middle. Which is good. I definitely think it's a good thing that they pathfind like that. It would just be a boring game if they didn't. But yeah, so yeah, uh, so you can fast forward the game, and the other way that they try to reduce boredom is, um, they, there's voice acting, like I said, which I think is, uh, the voice acting is pretty bad, it was like, I hate to sound this condescending, but it was a little hard to listen to, like, oh boy, I, you can tell it's the same guy trying to, like, force these accents and stuff, and, uh, it wasn't good, but... That, you can just turn it off, like I said. Like I've done, I mean. No, I haven't said that. I've done it for this video. I've turned the voice acting off. So, that's fine. There are no subtitles, though. So, uh, I don't know how much more tutorial there is, like, in later levels, but you'll be missing that, which is uh, is a pretty major fl uh, flaw, I think. But, whatever. Um, so, yeah, they're... they're even when they're not giving tutorials, the voiceovers are, like, making jokes and stuff. And, like I said before, I don't find the humor funny at all. But you can't really criticize a game for not having the same sense of humor that you do. So, whatever. That's fine. And... So that's... But I, I, I really like the fact that it's there, and that it tries to help keep you entertained during the in, the obviously boring bits of a tower defense game. So, um, there are three different towers. I haven't gone to the third one, and I probably won't for a while. Uh, there, are th there are three different towers given the demo. One of which is a laser, and to me, that seems to really go against the medieval theme given by everything about this game. Uh, you know... From, the, from you know the sword in this uh, in the stone, to the fact that you know they're like cannons and uh, arrows, and it talks about you know the king and his kingdom and knights and stuff. I don't know. The laser kind of felt weird, but the laser, uh, like all all of the towers that I've played, all three of them work quite differently. They they really do seem quite different from each other, and it's um, I think that's definitely very good because from the screenshots, it looks like there are quite a few other towers. So if they're all as varied as that, and there are, like, there are 30 levels, I'm pretty sure, and considering how long this one is, like, it says wave 5 of 7, but it's actually 20 waves long, uh, it's, it seems like there's quite a bit of content. So, all that in mind, um, I probably, like, if you just, like, look at this game, it looks like it's gonna be pretty bad. And it's definitely not, you know, the most polished experience ever. Like, there are typos and stuff here and there. It's not, you know, masterful. But I think it's solid. It's got the mechanics of a good tower defense game in it, I think. It's got enough to keep you entertained, I I think. I, I really don't think there's anything wrong with buying this as a, just as a decent tower defense game for not a lot of money. If you're really itching, you know, the rush of a tower defense game, you could do a lot worse, I think. I would recommend this game and the demo. Like, this level's really long. I So, the demo is definitely worth trying. So, if you like tower defense games, if you want this kind of thing, I definitely think you should try the demo. Uh, you can get a pretty good feel for what it's like uh, pretty much as soon as they start coming here. And, um... I'm only this efficient with my tower towers because I've played this multiple times already. The first time I did it, I was completely like wonky. Like I did not have the right strategies at all. I, I I mean, I mean my strategies were fine. They were just way less efficient than this. So I there's definitely a learning curve to it. I had to play it quite a bit to get this good, even though it seems kind of obvious in the end that you do this. Um. So, I, I think there's depth here. There are a lot of levels. All the levels look different from what I can see in the screenshots. There are a lot of towers. And you can actually upgrade the towers, too. So, there's additional depth there. I think it's a good package, honestly. And, like I've said before, I really, I really, I'm really impressed by the fact that it was made by a single guy. Even if the assets uh, and the voice acting, you know, aren't particularly jaw-dropping. But I definitely think it's worth trying and maybe even picking up. There's there's totally enough content in the demo to justify giving it a shot. Everything about it, I think, is just 
a solid, um, like, besides the graphics and the voice acting and the lack of subtitles, I don't have that much bad to say about it. So if you're interested in this kind of thing, there's nothing I, okay, run away. So yeah, I would recommend this game. I, I really would. It doesn't look like I'm going to get the laser before we end the video. But the laser inflicts, like, burn damage that lasts for a while. So you can, like, put it at the start and keep enemies burning all the way through. But yeah. I... I think it's worth a shot. Well, that's... that's bad. Oh, well. So yeah, if you guys want to check this game out on Steam, the link will be in the description on sale for a week. And uh, let's just go back to the main menu. I'm not going to bother finishing this. So yeah, I don't, I'm not a big tower defense game fan myself, but I, as far as they go, if this is not a bad one, I don't think. It looks like a bad one from the screenshots and story page and stuff. But I don't think it is. It's got its shortcomings. It's it doesn't seem that polished, despite the fact that it's got that dynamic uh, graphic setting in the options, which I think is pretty impressive. But yeah, I've said this before, but you could do a lot worse than a Lara TD for uh, six dollars, or eventually eight dollars. So yeah, thank you guys so much for hearing my thoughts about a Lara Tower Defense, and I'll see you guys next time. There's a demo on Steam.